Hey guys, it's Julianne and I'm an ECD HEB coach. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about healthy foods versus non-healthy foods. So we have a small activity we're gonna do with your children and we have some play food here, a bunch of play food, and we're going to be sorting out the healthy food versus the non-healthy food. So talk to your children about why healthy food is so important for you to eat and have into your body and why unhealthy food is good only for sometimes. All right, we have dumped out all of our play food here and we are going to start with some of the unhealthy food. So if we look around, we can you can set a timer if you have this with older kids or you can take turns if you have a few kids and you're going to go around and we're going to find and pick out some of the unhealthy foods. Okay, so I have my sister over here and we're going to be sorting out and we're gonna be finding some of the unhealthy foods. We're gonna be putting it in a pile over here. So let's start. I see some chocolate here. It's pretty unhealthy. I see, what do you, what do you see? Um, some McDonald's. Some McDonald's sweet and sour sauce. Okay, let's oh, see. Cookies. Cookies, some cookies. Some caramel. Some caramel chocolate. Some more cookies. More cookies. What about some of these fries here? Fries are pretty yeah. unhealthy. Yeah, more fries. More fries. Some pizza. So pizza depends on what type of pizza, but usually pizza isn't the healthiest food for you. So we'll put that in our unhealthy category. Some donuts. Some donuts are pretty un pretty some fattening. Pie. We got pie. And some ice cream. Okay, so we have some things here that are unhealthy. We're going to move on to some things that are healthy. So we're going to make another pile next to our unhealthy, and it's going to be some healthy. So go through with your child. Maybe you can talk about how fruits and vegetables are healthy or certain dairy things or what you, what you need to eat in a, in a certain day. So we're going to look around and find some things that are healthy for you. So let's see, we have... What is a fruit? Okay, watermelon. we have some watermelon, which is a fruit. Some carrots. Carrots are pretty healthy. Some zucchini. All right. We have a pear. Um, so there's more watermelon. We have some a lemon and a strawberry. Okay, we have some corn here. Some lettuce and some peas. And some cucumbers. We have some eggs, too. Eggs are healthy. Um, some peppers. Okay. And let's look at some of our cans here. We have, this looks like maybe tomato sauce or something. So that's healthy. There's some more corn. Um, we got some orange juice. Pretty healthy. All right. So we have a mix of unhealthy things here versus healthy things. So we have a lot of stuff here left over. So maybe some things that you're unsure about. So let's say bread. If you were to ask your child if bread is healthy or not, there could be two answers to that. So bread, if you have a lot of it, can be very fattening. But if you have a little bit of it on a sandwich and you maybe put... So yeah, if you put cold cuts on here or peanut butter. So that's another thing. If you have meat, some people might be unsure if that's healthy or not. We have some steak or chicken here. As long as you don't have a lot of it, and it's always definitely good protein. And yeah, as long as you don't have a lot of it, so it won't be fattening, it should be pretty healthy. So that was just a few things that you can do with your children with the play food is by separating, you can have a list that says non-healthy versus healthy and going through and talking about some of the things that healthy that they like to eat or some of the things that they enjoy that are, aren't healthy, but they can have once in a blue.